and welcome back, everyone, to the po Digimon, I was about to say Pokemon, Digimon Teen Creation Series. This comes because of us from Pedro Silva laughing. I think I got that name right. Who asked the question, what is Sonic the Hedgehog's Digimon partner? Uh, so this one, I could have focused on two different levels. I could have focused on his hedgehog aspects, which there are some hedgehog-based, like, Pokemon, I keep saying Pokemon, Digimon out there. And I've even used them before in a previous Digimon partner series. I believe with Deku, I use like Boltmon and stuff like that. That's a route I could have gone. However, really the aspect of Sonic, I think anyone thinking of Sonic would focus on for a lot of things, team, Pokemon teams, Digimon, whatever, is the fact that he is the fastest thing alive. He's the fastest thing alive. Like his... He is noted for his immeasurable speed, especially if you're dealing with the Archie Sonic, who is, you know, surpassing reality and working it just with his level of speed alone. So, I knew I had to focus on a Digimon partner who ultimately would be the fastest, or among the fastest things in the digital world. So, this led to this. Now, ironically, the form that came out that started beyond anything else, <clears throat> the form I started with, was the ultimate level. Technically, we'll get to why in just a minute. But first, let's start with the rookie, as always. The rookie is Vmon. Now, you can, if you've been paying attention to um, Digimon Partner Series before, I've used Vmon a couple times, including two different uh, Digivolution lines. And one of those Digivolution lines will be showing up again. Sh spoiler, you know, with most of these, a lot there's going to be a lot of repeats eventually. Even with Pokemon, I do end up doing a lot of repeats because some mod are good uh, for repeat use. But Vemon at least has the blue thing going on. He's a very lovable guy. So let's choose Sonic. Its champion form would also be X Vemon. X Vemon is just a cool looking champion level Digimon. Honestly, I like X Vemon. There's nothing much to say except I just need a transition between rookie to ultimate that worked. But this is where, and you know. Let's actually just skip for a second, because you can kind of see where this evolutionary line goes. All Force Vidramon is the Mega. It is noted to be the fastest Royal Knight and among the fastest Megas there is. I think, um, what is it? The uh, Centaurimon is debatably faster? But I, or is it, it's either Centaurimon, which is the six-legged horse one. Uh, or it is Old Force Vigimon. I want to say it's Old Force Vigimon who is actually the fastest and has the best regeneration out of any of the Royal Knights. But the, the ultimate, that's where this all really started. And you to start with, to give the ultimate, you're getting basically the most Sonic the Hedgehog looking Digimon you got here in Rinkmon. Now, Rinkmon is, at, is an armor Digivolution. It is, and it's an Hawkmon armor Digivolution using the Digimon a digi egg of friendship and as you can see this thing looks god knows like sonic the hedgehog god knows how um, uh, similar now clearly it is a humanoid looking digimon shudder is that but it is said they can hit 98 percent of the speed of light making it arguably the fastest digimon in the digital world barring megas like all force of Digimon. it just lacks a lot of physical power which speaks towards sonic too depending on the version you're going with so this made perfect sense to start with, but the question is, how do I justify A, using this as the armor as an armor evolution, and B, having it be an evolution of Hawkmon, not Vmon? All right, let's work with this for a little bit. As I've said in the past, armor evolution is a valid form of evolution if we can justify the connective points. The reason I say this is because we've seen armor evolutions in the wild, multiple of the same digivolution, uh, like multiple Alamon, wild versions of other Digimon, no problem. There's obviously a, there's at least been at least two Magnemons, most likely both found Digimantle of uh, of uh, miracles, but still. Uh, so it's it is possible that beyond armor, there are Digivolution routes to end up at the armor Digivolution. We just don't know how that happens. Uh, so you can just make that that guess. So that's that explanation. But how do I go from v Hawkmon to Vmon? Well, that is actually a pretty easy explanation. It's because the Digi-Egg of Friendship, or the Digi-Mantle of Friendship, let's be fair, but it's also called the Digi-Egg. Uh, the, the Friendship Armor Evolution 
is owned by Davis in the anime, and owned by V-Man, which allows him to turn into Rapidmon. And that's where, I mean, that's where a lot of the Garurumon elements kind of come from a little bit, the more blue um, design aspects show up. And if we were to be honest, this looks a lot more closer to Vimon than it does Hawkmon. So, and how how Hawkmon develops a human-esque looking face, uh, how any of them do that is beyond me. But let, let's let's not mince words here. I don't actually know how, when you really break this down, you call it a Hawkmon evolution. It literally has the color on both the white, uh, blue, and yellow. And is and a bit more of a, and a body type to Vimon. So I don't actually understand how it's justified that it digivolves from a Hawkmon. Um, but yeah, that's the Digimon that stirred this whole thing. He is this, and this is again like many other Digimon, the form most likely stays in most often because not every Digi partner's Digimon or partner, sorry, not every Digi Destin's Digi partner stays in their rookie form the whole time. There are many that do actually hang out in their champion or ultimate form. Occasionally, you might even get one that hangs out in its mega form. Uh, but, yeah, so this is actually the form it probably uh, hangs out the most in. And these guys would be working in tandem together. They wouldn't just be like, Sonic would just be saying, Go, Rinkmon, you can do it! Cheering him off from the side. No, he'd be like, Let's go, tag team! Woohoo! Beat you to the, the finish line! Woo! Uh, that's what would be happening here. So... Yeah, ultimately, and honestly, uh, you wouldn't see this form, uh, you wouldn't see it hitting all four Digimon very often. I don't see much occasions in, like, a Digi-World uh, scenario where Sonic is, you know, doing his thing that uh, this would be happening. But, I, hey, look, this is just my opinion. What do you think? Do you like this? Do you hate it? If you were to change something, what would you change? Personally, I think, to be honest, I think both Vimon and x Vimon, and maybe even all fours could be swapped out for other Digimon. The only one I would keep indefinitely is Rikmon. This Rikmon is the it's the mon you need to kind of design the whole Digivolution around. around. Um, so I don't know what would you do. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't hate this either because it does when you actually look at how Rikmon is designed. Again, look at that and compare it to the rest of this Digivolution line. How you got Hawkmon in this and not just Vimon? I have no freaking idea. Uh, anyway, I digress. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, though. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you folks for the next one. Later.